Okay, so welcome to this first video. We're gonna start retouching our travel photography in Venice. And uh, let's start off with a photo that I took very early in the morning um, at sunrise. It was about five o'clock and uh, usually it's really worth it. However, this photo still needs quite some retouch so that we uh, get a better feeling of uh, how it, what it really was this morning. So this is a raw file, so that's why it's a bit, you know, uncontrasty and not very good looking. So let's start off. We're going to start off by um, opening up the shadows so we see a bit more what's going on uh, in, the, in the shot, in the dark areas. And then we're going to bring down the highlights. Bringing down the highlights is going to make uh, the sky a bit more clear and um, it's going to make the overall photo with more details in the highlights. The next thing I usually do is I go into my whites, I press the Alt key, and I go to the right until I see some uh, pixels coming up, like, you know, this little blue dot here in the sky, and I let draw. Uh, this uh, will lighten up the whole picture and give me more details and more contrast. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the blacks. I hold on the Alt key and I go left until I see some, uh, um, you know, uh, some details, some uh, dark pixels coming up. Now this changed the contrast of the photo and um, is already looking much better. Now the next thing what I usually do is what I call overriding the contrast, meaning that uh, moving the white slider and the black slider did boost the contrast by making the highlights. Uh, you know, anything which is light, lighter, anything which is dark, darker. Now, usually it needs to be a bit boosted a bit more. So I'm going to take my contrast lighter and move it to the right to give an, you know, an even stronger feeling. And when you do that, the photo gets darker. So it's important to compensate that with bringing up the exposure a bit more. Okay, something like that. So as you move the contrast, it's good to bring back some exposure. Okay, next, um, I'm going to bring even more of the exposure, something around like that. Okay, now you see here the sun was, uh, was rising and this was really red. And, you know, it's not very red here. So I need to increase that to bring back more the feeling I had that morning. So for this, I'm going to the brushes. I'm going to take uh, the uh, temperature brush. And I'm going to make it more yellow and more magenta. Then I'm going to take my brush and with the wheel on my mouse, I'm going to make it bigger or smaller. And I'm going to paint over the sunrise to make it uh, a bit more reddish. Something like this. Okay, if you find it's too strong, uh, as you know, Lightroom is a fully non-destructive workflow. So you can simply back down the yellows and back down a bit the magenta. Uh, in this case, I'm going to back it down a bit, but I'm going to boost the saturation. Yes, to make it to, so that we can really see um, the red in the sky. You see, the whole trick about a photo is to have contrast. Contrast can be achieved by many things. It can be achieved by having really darks, darks and white whites, but also with, you know, having color contrast, you know, red against blue. You know, that's a, a serious contrast. All right, so I'm going to go out of this um, and now I'm going to do clarity. I'm going to boost up the clarity in the photo to give it more uh, clarity. What it does, it gives a bit of an HDR look, but very slightly and makes it what we call the um, uh, uh, mid-tones contrast. And uh, so it gives an interesting pop to the photo. Usually when I'm done with the regular retouching, what I do is that I go down to here um, to the camera calibration and I check out other calibrations. I usually always go for uh, camera landscape. See what it does. Wow. See how it makes everything uh, more blue. The blues went really more blue and the, and, and the sky uh, a lot more orange. So I think the blues are a bit too strong, but I like what it did on the, on the red, uh, on the sunrise. So then what I do is I go in the U saturation and luminance slider and I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to desaturate them a little bit. So we have a more realistic 
thing here something like this and maybe also the aqua which is close to the blue uh, i'm going to desaturate a little bit okay so now we've got a bit of a balanced photo um, the next thing i usually do is i go into the uh, lens correction and um, oh let me open up i go into profile and i click on honorable profiles correction now see how that really brought up the um, the colors uh, the light in the photo, but also took out any vignetting effect that was there. Uh, I sort of don't like that, so I'm going to compensate that. But I always click on the, the enable profile. It's going to detect what lens you took the photo with, and it's going to correct that. So the next thing I go is to colors, and I click on remove chromatic aberrations in case there is any. And I always, on the diffringe, I always put the diffringe amount at least in the middle on uh, on both sliders what this does is that if if there was any fringe around the photo like around the the lamp post or things like this it's going to take it out let me see before and after you see before i took it off see how there is like a red line here now let me put it back on see how i took out the red line so it's a very important setting especially if you do big prints so now that we have corrected the um you know uh, the, 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 the profile, I need to go into the post crop vignetting and put back some vignetting because I find vignetting very helpful in landscape photos. You see what vignetting does is that it's going to darken all the corners of the photo and it's going to put the attention of viewer in the middle of the photo. So now I have finished what I call the global corrections. Uh, and, uh, so the last thing I usually do is local corrections. And for this, I go back into the brush slider uh, with the brush tool, which is here. And I go for taking the temperature, the exposure. And uh, what I do is I'm going to boost up a bit the exposure and I'm going to paint, for example, a little uh, light here. Um, that's maybe a bit strong. So I'm going to bring it down to from 0.52 to something a bit smaller, something like this, 0, 0 0.42. What that does is, you see the whole idea is that if you've got a wall or a ceiling or a floor that's evenly lighted, it's gonna be boring. And if it's partially lighted, it's gonna get more interesting. So what I do is that for every brush strokes that I do, I create a new brush. So I'm happy with this one. So now I'm gonna click on new, and I'm gonna see if I can light up here, for example, this spot, which I think is interesting. The reason I do that is um, I do this on a separate brush is that if I find that this effect is not is too strong or not strong enough, I can just, you know, make it stronger and it's only going to do this brush stroke and not that brush stroke. So it's a pretty interesting way to really control uh, the, the lightning, um, you know, the lights in your photo. Uh, next, I'm going to put some lights on the, on the boats itself. So I'm going to click on new and I'm going to light up a bit the boats so that we can see them better. Um, maybe that's a bit strong. Let me let me get stronger or less. You know, all these sliders is completely an artistic decision. You know, you have to uh, decide what you like or you don't like. OK, so that's not so bad. That is not so bad. So uh, now um, I want to do some final touches on this photo. I find that the um, the perspective are a bit weird. You see how the lamp is going, uh, you know, a bit crooked, and how the church here is a bit crooked. This is something I should have corrected earlier. But that's the good thing about Lightroom is you can just go back and forth on any s sliders as much as you want. So I can go back into the lens correction, and I can go into the third panel, which is manual, and I can go on the verticals, and um, the vertical is going to take care of that. It's going to make the uh, the church going uh, straight up and the lamps going straight up. I am at minus seven, which I find is not enough. So I keep on doing it until this church is a bit more straight up and that lamp is a bit more straight up. So I'm at minus 11. OK, let's see if we can do a bit more. Minus 16. Uh, OK, minus 16 seems to be pretty cool. It's a bit much, so I'm going to back it down to minus 13, something like this. Now, you see, this is going to create a little gray area because it's basically, uh, you know, transforming the photo for you. 
So to take out this gray area, just make sure you click on Constraint Crop. That's going to take it out and it's going to recrop the photo. So that's the gray area is it's taken out. Okay, so now I've corrected that. And now that I've done a bit of you know local lightning, I always look at the final photo and decide if I need to make some last final touches uh, in the global settings. So I'm going to go for a little bit more contrast on this one. And um, something like that. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to see if I can make this even a bit more stronger. If I can make it, um, yeah, take my orange, for example, and make it a bit more saturated on saturation. Yeah, something like that. And um, I think the blues, um, I think the sky is, I think it's too bright. That's something I see at the end. So that's okay. I can just go and take the um, neutral filter which is here and I'm gonna put it on exposure and I'm gonna drag a little filter on the um, on the sky here and I'm gonna ins the exposure is at plus 0.52 I'm gonna bring it down a little bit because I want to get more details here in the sky okay something like that see before the ND filter after the ND filter and you know what? I'm going to add some clarity to make it even more pop, you know, make it even a, a more dramatic sky. Okay, so I think I'm basically done. Let me see if I can show you before and after. Um, so this is the uh, before. This is where we came from. And this is all we've done. And this is where we are. Uh, finally at the end Okay, that's quite a change and that's only done in Lightroom 4 nothing no Photoshop Whatsoever all I was trying to do is get back the emotion I had that morning when I got up at 5 in the morning So that's was our first video. Let's retouch another photo